Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Movers and Shakers of Paul. Um, if you if this is the first time you're watching, uh, so what Movers and Shakers is about is just showcasing Paul excellence. Um, and today we've got one of Paul's excellence uh, next to me. I'm super excited to speak to Keegan Peterson. Keegan Peterson is, of course, uh, if you've been watching the cricket, had an amazing domestic cricket season. Um, but he can tell you a bit more about the accolades. Um, and yeah, and also today I just saw the news he's been included in the SAA, what is like a SAA training SAA team? Squad, yeah. Training a training, uh, SAA squad, which is, I mean, super amazing. So, Keenan, thanks for joining me on your Friday evening. Ach, not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, quickly, I see that, how's the feelings, you SAA hasn't kicked in yet? Not really. I got, uh, I said, um, it probably hit me once I get part of the environment yeah. and all, but uh, it really hasn't hit me that hard yet. Maybe when I wake up tomorrow, I'll realize it's, yeah. maybe it's not just a dream. <laughs> yeah, because I thought it would be, it, it's just like the World Cup is probably just a year too early because yeah, yeah. imagine if it would be 2020, you'd probably feature in the World Cup. Huh? Uh, if I hadn't, maybe, I'd, maybe I'd had a chance if I just had another year like this. Yeah, yeah. If the World Cup was pushed further on, but ah, it's just how fate has it. yeah. So tell me, I saw also you um, had, a, what, a double century? I don't, I don't know if they call it back-to-back -back was in one test. Yeah, the back-to-back Tundras -back, uh, against the Cobras. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> someone asked me a while ago after that game as well, how did I, how did I feel? I told him it always feels amazing. It's a bittersweet feeling scoring runs against home. <laughs> yeah, of course. It'll always, yeah. always be home. Yeah, so just back in like history. So, okay, let's start uh, school. Just give our Keegan's... Uh, School law band, uh, <laughs> Keenan as a kid, always a cricketer or rugby soccer? Uh, cricket was always number one, I, it's always been. Um, did play a little bit table tennis, mm. uh, rugby here yeah, and there, but nothing serious at the time. Went to school at New Orleans down the road, yeah. It's where I grew up. I'm actually a Chicago boy. Oh, nice, okay. <laughs> yeah, our family's from Chicago, grandparents and all sorts, where I grew up in the area. Wow. Um, yeah, like I said, cricket always, always took first preference mm. and it was always the way I was looking to go. Yeah, and uh, so highlights of the high school, high school, was it cricket, were they cricket highlights or what were you, were you good uh, at high school or did it just start later? Yeah, I, I would say my, my game matured a bit later. Um, I wasn't, how can I say it, I wasn't lighting the world up mm. in high school, I did make a couple of ball and teams and and the 17 and the 19 and so on and so forth. But well, the first year out to school, I uh, made my, my first class debut uh, mm. for Borland. Okay. I think it was 2012, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, I just went uphill from there. I don't know, I honestly people ask me when did I, mm. what's the, 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 the way you, that you did it and everything. I, I can't tell, it mm. just happened the way that it did and it came naturally. Yeah, yeah, so I mean, I always see like when the guys walk down here on a Saturday with all their bags to the cricket field, yeah. go stand in the sun, 40 degrees sun, <laughs> I mean, that's like another level of dedication. Yeah, that's not the fun part of it, the fielding yeah. in the sun and all that, trust yeah. me, I could only bet that I was doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, of course. <laughs> um, okay, so now you, so you got Borland, and then what happened after Borland? Um... Yeah, like I said, my debut in 2012, uh, played uh, amateur cricket for Borland for a couple of years. I think it was two years or so, and then I got my first contract with the Cobras. Mm -hmm. Was contracted with the Cobras for, I think, uh, three years, if I'm not mistaken, okay. or a bit longer. Okay. Um, and made the move to the Knights a couple of years ago from the Cobras as well, purely mm -hmm. for game time, as yeah. it was a... A uh, star started line up at the Cobras at the time, so it's difficult as a youngster to make that team. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> um, yeah, and at the Knights now, been playing for, I think it's my third year. Mm -hmm. I went on loan in my first year and signed there the, the, the year after. And my game just matured the more I played mm -hmm. uh, at this level, at franchise level, and I had a dream year. To be honest, I'm hoping it can just continue next year as well. Yeah. Because uh, I saw you were uh, highest test run scorer for the season. Yeah, the highest scorer in the yeah, That's amazing. Series, yeah. 
And this is your third domestic series season for the Knights. My, um, yes, yes, yeah, yeah. yes. Okay, cool. So, what's the, so of course, the, the big dream is uh, Protea squad yeah. type of uh, thing. And so, now you also signed a new contract for the UK team. Tell me a bit about that. How did that happen? Yeah, I have uh, my agent looking for deals all around, mm. around the world. Um, and... I go to the UK almost every year. I think oh, okay. Is it a uh, routine thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so nice. That's just, that's just to go make uh, put extra money that side. Yeah. Uh, and also, it's off season year, so you want to. Yeah, might as well keep active. Well, 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 might as well keep active. Yeah. So I've been doing it for the past couple of years. Okay, already. nice. I'm going to play for a club called Stroud Cricket Club this mm-hmm. year. I've cool. played for a different club every year. Nice, man. Yeah. So, I mean. During uh, congratulations, I see you engaged also. Oh, thank you, thank and you. <laughs> so you you running away to to the UK after engagement? Yeah, I'm sad. <laughs> I sold my soul to the devil. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so tell me, what is the what's the fun part of being a professional cricketer? Uh, it's it's every boy's dream, and mm. um, it's I can say that it's always being what I wanted, the, the fun part is that I can wake up every day and do something that I love and wow. and uh, I'm fortunate enough to be in that position as my, many people out there that want to and dream to be and don't mm. get the chances and I'm actually quite grateful for that to be honest and uh, yeah the fun part is just living the dream, uh, being able to hold that bat yeah. and showcase my talents that, uh, that I was blessed with. Mm. So, so what is the what is the not so fun part about being a professional cricketer? Fielding. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, I don't know. It, it, it it's difficult. It is a it's a challenging job. It mm. will it will challenge you mentally a lot, and it's it's a game where you're gonna fail more than you succeed, and mm. that's how you deal with it is how you're gonna get to the top. Yeah, yeah. I always ask myself the question: What is it easier? To be is it easier to be a bowler or is it easier to be a cricketer to become Ooh. successful? I have friends that are bowlers that are gonna hate me saying this now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but because for me it's almost like you <laughs> you can you've got six balls and you've got you've got more chances of getting wickets, but with a batsman you only got the one chance. Yeah, you yeah. only got the one chance. I think a bowler's easier than but from a professional cricketer. Yeah, it's I'd say <coughs> bowling is it, it, it's challenging in its own way. You have to be extremely fit to bowl that much. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, but the mental part of the thing is is batting. It is mm. a difficult part because you only have the one chance, like you say. Yeah. You don't have the next ball that you can can try again. Yeah. yeah you might have to come try again next week or something. <laughs> yeah, like of that. course. But, yeah. So you can actually face one ball and go field for the rest of the match. Oh, well, that's the worst part yeah. of it all. And when I get that first ball, I just wish I could go home and just not... Yeah. Part of the game anymore. So you play uh, batsman number one or number two? Uh, three. Okay, cool. So you yeah. don't face the first ball. No, yeah. most times it's uh, second, third ball maybe. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> okay, and currently, um, best batsman in the world? Uh, according to me, yeah. Uh, there's only one that's Virat Kohli, definitely. Okay, cool. All right, but he's still playing. He hasn't retired, or what? Yeah, he's still playing. He's, okay. he's captaining India now. In the in the World Cup, okay, he's been cool. captaining for the past couple of years. Yeah, okay, he's he's on another level. Yeah, without a doubt, without yeah. a doubt. Keegan, uh, Keegan, you've played thirty seconds. Yes, yes, I have. So I had to had to go look now, and I actually got a a timer inside because I added thirty seconds. So this is a minute. So yeah, um, you played this before, right? Yeah. Okay. So you, this is the kiddies one. Okay. And you know, it's amazing how people suckle with the kiddies one because <laughs> the, the adult one seems so easy because it has like Eiffel Tower and yeah. so, but this is like nouns and stuff, so people suckle. But anyway, you're the professional. Yes, you're putting me under pressure now. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> you can put me under pressure Let's now. Let's go. All right. Um, you fly with this. Uh, Aeroplane. Yes. Uh, if it's not go, it is. Stop. Yeah. Um, Doing this with a spoon in the pot. Stir. Yes. It's not success, it's... Failure. Just the... Um, the blue roll. Fail. Yeah. Okay, nice. Um, you know, there's, there's people that the, the kids with the... It's almost like cheerleading and to throw the sticks with and all that. Uh, what's it called? It's a sport. Um, 
Did I major it? Yes. Done. That's the one. Ah, yes. <laughs> okay, yeah, you actually, uh, you're up there. Let's see. <laughs> you're up there. Um, so, so when do you leave to UK? I'm supposed to be leaving next week on Thursday. Okay. Uh, I was just waiting for my visa to get here. Okay. It's, it's a bit of a process. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so how long are you going to be there? Um, supposed to be there till 1st September, uh, but if I do make the final scar, the final cut to the SA team, I'll probably have to come back in a bit earlier. Yeah, yeah. It's, let's go. Did you see these answers? <laughs> um, uh, baby drink smoke out of a bottle. The Swoosh brand. Like, um, yes, that uh, that animal, four legged animal that has to look after that animal was sheep. Sorry, sheep dog. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's the game that you played when you were small when you had guns and you shoot each other and the other ones run away? Is it what cowboy something and cowboys and robbers or uh, no, cops no. and robbers? Or uh, if it's not straight, it's bent. You. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> um, and the other one is um, not cold, but hot. No, just less than cold. It's like mild. It's oh. like less than cold. Like also starts with the same letter as starts with cold, but same amount of letters. Just sounds yeah. like moon. No, you got okay, me. Okay, cool. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. The other one was a bad one. Chuck this one away. God lose like that. <laughs> um, Kira, so I've, uh, before we go, I've got 10 quick questions for you to answer. Okay. It's just like uh, rapid questions um, to see where you are in life, right? Dinner with three people, dead or alive? Uh, Virat Kohli. Hmm. Uh, watch the guy in, in, in Big Bang Theory, Sheldon. Okay, I don't um, know his real name. Yeah, I can't get his real name either now. And, um, what's Harry Potter actor name as well? Daniel... Radcliffe or something. Yeah. Okay, I wanted to say, say fiance. <laughs> nah, um, she'll see have her own dinner. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you could play in any band, which band? The script. Okay, stunning. Dream job? I'm currently doing it. Oh, stunning. Yeah. Last movie you cried in? Avengers Endgame. <gasps> Tell me you cried. Your I eye. Okay, but we have spoiler alert, so it's fine. Yeah. I I couldn't man I couldn't handle it. I was I was shattered. I went to watch it again the next day. Maybe I was just hoping that the guy didn't die. Yo, dude, it was. I it so I can't sit still for three hours, but that movie did I not didn't. feel like three hours. It was. It was so everything that you wanted from a movie. It had me. It, it had me intrigued. I couldn't move from. I don't know. I actually kept the pee in for about two of those three hours. Yeah, I, didn't get it was out. A, <laughs> I went to watch it with my kid, and I, you know, we were we were chunking. Even he was chunking. It was, it was sad. Um, pinch myself moment. Mm, I don't know. Getting engaged to the girl of my dreams. To be honest. Okay. Cool. Okay. <laughs> nice. If I had to give you ten thousand right now, what would you spend it on? Except data. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 10,000 rand. Uh, that's a proper night out, to be honest. Is it? Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, best series that you're currently watching or binge watching, and which series would you want to play a cameo role in? Uh, best series I'm currently watching is Game of Thrones. Okay. Um, okay, we won't talk. The conversation is going to become an hour. <laughs> uh, but uh, did you probably watch Sunday. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's... Anyway, carry on. <laughs> Cameo role, you know? Uh, we at all, I would play. I want to play. In, in Game of Thrones? Oh. Um, I wouldn't be involved in Game of Thrones. You'd probably be dead by yeah, the next episode. They'll kill me. <laughs> 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 um, what other series is there? Um, I'm a massive... I'm a massive fictional guy, man. Mm. Probably something in The Flash or something. Okay, cool. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's cool. Um, okay, you said the hardest and the best part of being a cricketer. Your most annoying habit that you hate about yourself. Um, I don't know. I, okay. I, honestly, I do this with my eyes a lot. I, I, for some reason, Is so it? it could be. <laughs> <laughs> um, who's your inspiration? Um, I don't know. It, it, it would be my father, to be honest. Mm. He's a... Uh, Always played sports and all, but 
grew up in an era where you didn't um, necessarily get the opportunities to to further and what we have now yeah. as 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 our generation. So he has his own story to tell, and um, mm. um, I always look up to him. Yeah, yeah, because I I actually like I want I always want to understand like when for example you say you grew up in Chicago, what is it? What do you think it is about yourself that the, for you to go carry on with the path that you wanted to and not go the wrong direction? Is it the parents, is it the teachers, or was it just something personal? It's just seeing the community, it, um, your, your surroundings and all. And I mean, there's guys that I grew up with in Chicago or around that, that didn't make it, guys that are mm. even dead today and all. And, you don't really want to be part of that. You don't really want to fall into that, mm. into that stat, to be honest. And um, yeah, that is actually what motivates me because I don't want to, I don't want to end up still on the sidewalk somewhere, mm. or a drug addict or yeah. things like that. So that is what keeps me going. Yeah. So what is the, um, what is the biggest sacrifice you had to make to become a professional cricketer? It's probably leaving my son behind here. Mm. Um, while moving to Bloemfontein to pursue my career, um, it's it, it's difficult being away all the time. Mm. He's growing up uh, very quickly. How old is he now? He's turning three now. Okay, nice. Yeah, so it's difficult. Mm. Missing probably the best moments of his life, and that is yeah. The most difficult. But I'm sure you come home often enough. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Not not as much as I would want to, but uh, yeah. in season it's difficult. Mm. But off season I'll be that it's alright. But I'm away in mm. England mm. also, so yeah, that is the difficult yeah. part of it all. But I mean, nowadays with WhatsApp video and FaceTime, I mean, yeah, yeah, things is, become so much easier. But I mean, of course, that you must think those important. Yeah, it helps a lot. Yeah. Um, if you leave Earth one day, what you want to be remembered as? Uh. Just a nice person. Mm. <laughs> Just yeah. uh, I want people to think of me and smile, and, yeah. and then leave a, a legacy behind that's gonna that's gonna help people move forward yeah. in life. Okay, okay, cool. What advice would you give your twenty-year-old self? Yes, maybe not to have that one beer. <laughs> <laughs> not to have it one last beer. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, um, my twenty-year-old self, I don't know, just to hang in there. At mm. times, you don't really, uh, don't give up. Yeah. At times, you actually want to. Uh, I want to give up at times as well. Yeah, I wanted to ask you: Was there, was there a time? Because I I saw the story about um, this one guy, the sevens player from Durbanville, one of the farms, and he said he was on the verge of just giving up and turning. Mm. In, turning it uh, going the wrong direction but then he got the phone call uh, to come for the blood poker sevens camp but i mean was there ever time where you thought yes yeah, um this is not for me yeah a lot of times actually like, is it? like i said it's a it's a it's a game of failures cricket you're gonna fail more than you succeed mm. so at, at some days it gets really challenging and it's gonna get you down and it's gonna feel like the world is on your shoulders and mm. You just don't want to do this. You can't live with the pressure anymore, and things change quite very quickly. Yeah. It's, it takes one moment to change everything. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, speaking speaking about failures, what do you think is your like your biggest failure? Meaning, the one where you learned your biggest lesson from. Um, I can't pinpoint one now, but it's probably my my first season in franchise cricket. It, it, Gave me a proper wake up call to say that now you now you're in serious business. You're mm. playing against the best players in the country, and that was for Boland, eh? Uh, yeah, no, no, for, for Cobras, but okay, the franchise cricket. Yeah. So so tell me, so you get the phone call from whatever the Cobras, and it's like, hi, Keegan, we want to contract you. Or does your agent phone you? Um, they they speak to both you and your agent. Okay. Um, it's. If you don't have an agent, they're gonna have to speak to yeah. you directly. Okay. Um, so it, it, uh, getting that first contract and being part of a professional squad like that, it's that's almost a dream come true. Yeah, that's it's, like it's, it's, it's very overwhelming. So who's the first person you call when you say, ah, "I got the contract, they phoned me"? 
uh, to my crazy mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, she's always the first person I call. Okay, all right. Oh, that's awesome. Is there one song that you know all the lyrics? The, the script, The Man Who Can't Be Moved. Okay, cool. Nice song. <laughs> no, that's an awesome song. If you had a lot of youngsters here, uh, avid or aspiring cricket players, um, and they want to know, um, Keegan, now what what do we need to do to get where you are? What is what would you tell them? Hours and hours of work. It's it's not what people see on the surface. It's say it, you talent and all. It is what you put into the game. The game is going to give you back mm. um, the thousands of balls you hit behind the scenes. I mean, there was a, at some stage. Early in my career when playing for Borland, there was a time when I was going through a thousand balls a day. and But who's throwing the balls here? My dad. Wow, amazing. <laughs> it's like, you know, he will throw a few, then we'll do in the bowling machine and all that. So it's 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 a, it's about how badly you want it that's going mm. to make you succeed in the end. Mm. So was it, was it always the Keegan dream to be a cricketer? Always. always okay. For as long as I can remember. I've got this <laughs> in my mom's house, which was my old room in the house. They still got this big picture of me. Mm. Uh, and I was just a little kid, probably at my son's age now, three years old, mm. uh, with a cricket bat hitting a ball. And wow, amazing. Yeah. So I for as long as I can remember, like that's always been. Okay. All right. So what's the, what's the five-year plan in Keegan Peterson's life? Uh, the five-year plan is... Hopefully to be playing for Africa as soon as I can. Um, yeah. That is that is the end game. Yeah. To, yeah. Uh, in the it's what everyone is working towards and what I definitely have been thriving for and and trying to achieve. Okay. All right, dude. But uh, good luck with your is it Stroud, eh? Stroud, Stroud, yeah. Stroud cricket. Yeah. Um, few months there good i mean congratulations and good luck for saa selection thank you that's new uh i don't ever must say good luck or in a for for your <laughs> uh, engagement <laughs> <laughs> so you uh you've got a busy few years ahead yeah um but thanks so much for chatting with it was really interesting that's perfect so, <laughs> cool thanks dude <laughs> sure.